Hello and welcome to Health Break. Before we dive into today's video, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. As a lifelong student of medicine, and now a practicing physician, my career has been dedicated to understanding the complex mechanisms of the human body. Today, I want to discuss an aspect of health that is often glossed over, yet its importance cannot be overstated, blood pressure. To put it simply, blood pressure is the force exerted by your blood against the walls of your arteries. You've probably heard it referred to in two numbers, for instance, 120 over 80. But what do these numbers mean, and which one is more important, the systolic or diastolic reading? Systolic pressure, the first number, represents the force your heart produces when it pumps blood out into your arteries. The diastolic pressure, the second number, is the resistance to this flow that remains when your heart is at rest between beats. You might think of systolic pressure as the push and diastolic pressure as the resistance. For many years, the medical community placed a greater emphasis on diastolic pressure. The logic was sound, if your arteries remain constricted when they should be at rest and in their most relaxed state, it could indicate serious health problems. However, this viewpoint has evolved, and it's now understood that both readings play a crucial role, albeit in different ways. As we age, there's a natural stiffening of the large arteries, which can cause an increase in systolic blood pressure. This is why systolic hypertension, a condition where only the first number is high, is more commonly observed in people over 50. Ignoring or underestimating this can be dangerous. High systolic readings have been linked to significant health risks including heart disease, kidney disease, and stroke. On the other hand, diastolic pressure is particularly important in younger people. Researchers have found that a high diastolic blood pressure can result in damaged arteries, leading to a heart attack or stroke later in life. Therefore, while systolic pressure may be a more important indicator of disease in older adults, diastolic pressure shouldn't be ignored, especially in younger populations. So, the answer to the question, which is more important, systolic or diastolic, is not as straightforward as it might seem. Both are equally important and serve as indicators of your cardiovascular health. However, the relative importance may shift depending on your age. Understanding your blood pressure and its implications can be likened to reading a map. Both numbers, systolic and diastolic, serve as coordinates. They help you and your doctor pinpoint where you stand in the landscape of your health. The numbers are a snapshot, a glimpse into the inner workings of your circulatory system. They can help predict your risk of cardiovascular disease and guide treatment approaches. A high systolic reading might suggest that your heart is working too hard to pump blood, potentially leading to cardiac issues. A high diastolic reading, however, could mean that your arteries are too narrow, indicating potential for damage to your heart and other organs due to insufficient blood flow. As a doctor, I implore you to take both numbers seriously. Don't get complacent if only one number is high. It's like seeing smoke but ignoring the fire. The goal is to keep both numbers in a healthy range, which is usually less than 120 by 80 mmHg. Finally, remember that blood pressure isn't static. It fluctuates throughout the day based on your activities, emotions, diet, and more. However, if it stays consistently high even at rest, it's a sign that your body is under persistent stress and it's time to act. To manage your blood pressure, lifestyle modifications are often the first line of defense. Regular exercise, a balanced diet low in sodium and high in fruits and vegetables, limiting alcohol, avoiding tobacco, and managing stress can all contribute significantly to maintaining healthy blood pressure levels. However, if these changes aren't enough, your doctor may recommend medication to help control your blood pressure. It's also worth noting that while home blood pressure monitors can be a useful tool for tracking your blood pressure over time and noticing patterns, they should not replace regular checkups with your healthcare provider. Your doctor can provide a more comprehensive view of your overall health, ask the right questions, and conduct other necessary tests. As we conclude, both systolic and diastolic blood pressures are crucial indicators of our cardiovascular health status. Neither can be deemed more important than the other in every scenario. Age, existing health conditions, and risk factors all play a role in determining which one may require more attention at a given time. Remember, your body is like a finely tuned machine. Every part, every reading, every symptom offers insights into its overall functioning. 
So, the next time you get your blood pressure checked, don't just ask for the numbers. Ask what they mean for your health. Understand them, and you'll be one step closer to steering your health in the direction you want it to go. Your health is a journey, not a destination, and understanding your blood pressure is a significant part of navigating that journey effectively. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please take a moment to like, subscribe and share for more videos like this.